welcome again. Welcome, Larissa. Larissa, having a welcome. I am, I am wanted to have <laughs> Now, when I see young talent, I'm always, always very, very oh, wow. proud. I wish I see women like you. you. <laughs> so, I especially in Africa, it's an yeah. amazing experience to be here. It's good to have you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let me say, let me start by saying I am a person who is motivated about uh, developing skills and using those skills to impact lives positively. I was, I studied biomedical engineering at the university. You know, back then, I, before applying, I saw biomedical engineering and it looked super cool. Yeah. And I was privileged enough to have friends who allowed me because I knew that lots of females don't get that opportunity. I was one of four females in my class of about 40. Wow. And it was pretty intimidating. And uh, I decided to do something about it. So when I graduated, I I was trying to figure out what other women in the space were doing. And yeah. I also found out that there weren't many jobs for biomedical engineers in the country. And so I started interviewing Ghanaian women in STEM. I started with Ghanaian women in technology. So I think the first lady I was in touch with was uh, Regina Hui, who is the founder of Tech and Skills and Solo mm -hmm. Solutions. And uh, she, I volunteered for Tech and Skills and she introduced me to other women in the space. And so I interviewed them and it was a snowboard effect. I, I started interviewing other women. And people started noticing and like, hmm, I have something here. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the beginning of uh, levels and heels. Um, so after I graduated, I I thought my, while I was doing that, I was teaching myself how to code because I was you were I, teaching yourself how to code. Yeah, because I I realized that I had passion for technology. Yeah, and so that landed me my next job at Servnet Africa. I was their product development analyst, and I was in charge of creating web applications for some of their startup companies and the company itself. And uh, it was there that I. I created my own Levels and Heels website. I was using a blog site and then I made it into a website. And I, I decided to take it to another level. So I started interviewing other African women, not just in Ghana. So you took and, it global? Yeah, I took it global. And people loved it. And I, I, I started some mentorship programs on the side. I interviewed uh, some wonderful ladies studying science. I mentored girls at the African Science Academy. <laughs> Um, so I got a call, was invited to the African Science Academy to mentor these amazing young girls. I organized a video conference call with them. Uh, with one of the ladies I've interviewed, she's an entomologist, she studies insects. And um, it was a unique experience. The, the girls really loved it. We also had um, an ROV pilot, another lady that I also interviewed, to share the experience. And I also shared my experience, and I guess they found it interesting. And yeah, here I am today, and I'm also a project coordinator. So what happened was, because of levels and heels, and let me also say that I believe everything happens for a reason. Because of levels and heels, I was able to land a job at the Business Council. They were looking yeah. for a project coordinator to organize um, STEM girls camps. It was in partnership with Vodafone Ghana Foundation. And so I applied and I got a job. Interesting. Yeah. Hear your career tips. It could be one, it could be two. What are the tips that have helped you? Okay, so the first one is try and figure out what interests you and develop skills to pursue what interests you. So for me, I realized that I had passion for technology. I taught myself how to code. If I hadn't taught myself how to code, I wouldn't have created a level of this website. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have landed my job at the British Council rather. Find something that interests you develop skills and then it will all put them in place. And the next tip is uh, you need to learn to take risks. You need to learn to be comfortable with uncomfortable situations. There's so many moments where I've had to overcome certain barriers and things that I haven't been so comfortable with. Um, for instance, I, I always had the fear of public speaking, but because of where I want to be in the future, I have to put myself in Oh please, I, I get on, to I get on the stage and I'm just all shaky. But yeah, I'm learning, I'm learning. It takes practice. 
And so learn to take risks and be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. This saying which says, where passion, purpose, and skill collide, immense results. Where passion, purpose, and, and skills collide. collide. Bliss, this is like, what was something like poetry now? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Wow. I had no idea how to land at the position of mm-hmm. And where are our problems? You know, there's something you said, I think it resonates with an earlier speaker, and it resonates with what uh, Deborah Jane had told us in an earlier session, where she said, you create your own opportunity. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we're all waiting for that job, that business that will come our way. That's so my start. advice to other young women. You need to start something if you are not finding whatever opportunity. Create the, the whole the opportunity the yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it, it's really wonderful. I'm really, really happy that you made it. I'm really, really grateful. I was that really was I'm passionate about impacting lives. Who was I do? Who the skills that I develop, whatever skills I develop, I try as much as possible to influence the lives of people. Guys, if you have questions for Larissa, you can post them on our YouTube blog. We'll give also her social media handles and also her website so people can contact you. I'm, I'm actually watching out that you're going to be one of the great leaders for Africa because she is one of the rising stars of this country. And I'm really grateful you came for this session. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. <laughs>